Hello Aries and welcome to your February love reading. My name is Priscilla from Crystal Things Heal. Friendly reminder that tarot is for guidance and entertainment purposes only, therefore not responsible for what you do after your reading. However, I'm here for you. If you're interested in a personal reading, check out crystalthingsheal.com. Uh, let's see what else. If you want to follow me on social media, follow me at Crystal Things Heal. Check out the Etsy shop for sprays. Love Attraction Spray, Prosperity Sage Spray, Palo Santo Spray, Remove Negativity Spray. There's also healing kits and even personalized healing kits, so check that out. For those of you who want to learn tarot, I do run classes a few times a week. However, if you're more interested in reading a book, I did come out with a book called Tarot for the Average Joe. Okay, by yours truly. Has charts, practice exercises, spreads, talks about numerology, um color symbolism animal symbolism called all these things so definitely check it out that is available on amazon kindle for faster shipping for paperbacks just go on my etsy page it's faster that way okay all righty oh and jewelry let's get started shall we all righty pull out some angel cards for you guys Release your ex is the first card that comes out. Calling your soulmate retreat. Okay, so right off the bat, the messages I'm getting is the reason why you have to release your ex is because you're calling in the person who's truly supposed to be in there and step in. But the only way to do that is for you to disconnect from the world and kind of work on yourself for the next person to come in because you guys will be at a you'll be at a better maybe you'll be matching their vibration that might be anything else so for some of you whoever you are with the ex um they were being a little deceptive or it could be that you weren't being true to yourself during this so, and you know you're supposed to leave but you're staying anyways and for some of you it could be due to children and you've lost a playful part or you um for some of you is you lost a playful part about yourself and you need to find that again the next person that comes into your life um this is a february reading so for some of you it is going to be in february is not going to be what you expect okay um so if you like tall guys, maybe they're short. If you like skinny women, maybe they're a little thicker, you know, like vice versa. So there you go. <laughs> That's your angel reading. So the way that we do the love readings, um, this is for the mid-month. So mid-February to mid-March, whatever, right? Or whenever you see us reading. And we're going to do in a shape of a heart. One side's going to be the feminine side. One side's going to be the masculine side. And we're going to find out what's at the heart of the matter and the overall energy. Really undecided if there's going to be an extended reading. Um, it really just comes down to time. But so you might hear me say if there's an extended. If there's an extended reading this month, it will be in a description box down below. It would be the first link in the description box down the, uh, below. Okay. And it will be through Vimeo, most likely. Running a little short on time, though, so we really don't know. I'm trying, guys. <laughs> so I also work at a hospital, and um, I am trying to reduce my hours there so I can be able to really take more time and do this and do your extendeds and have them out. And I'm really big on having things out on time. So, um that will just make it a little easier. So just bear with me. It'll come, I promise. Okay. All right. So let's find out what's at the heart of the matter for my lovely Aries. Okay. A decision. Break up to break up because someone's not listening to their intuition. Exactly what your angel cards basically just said. All right. So there was a breakup for a group of you already. Um, how does the feminine see the masculine? Thank you. The feminine loves the masculine. How, and as a soulmate, how does the masculine see the feminine? 
I didn't even finish. The masculine has love for the feminine. However, he, the masculine energy, I'm going to say he and she just to make this go along. Just because you're a, ma a male does not make you a masculine energy, vice versa. If you're a female, it does not automatically make you a feminine energy. You have to see where you play out, okay? Um, so the masculine energy feels that they have love for this person, but um, either that they were cut out or that they had to be the one to cut the feminine out. Okay, so how does the feminine feel about the masculine? Like they've been fighting or that they fight a lot. How does, or that's all they are? That they're, they might be stubborn. They, I stand my ground and look for peace, right? So that the uh, masculine stands his ground. All right, how does the masculine feel about the feminine? The masculine feels that the feminine is very prosperous and that she has the ability to almost make anything happen in life. You know what I mean? If she wants something, she goes and gets it. She's a very stable person. She probably has a very stable job. So what does the feminine actually want? Of course, the feminine wants stability, which is what we just talked about, right? What does um, the masculine actually want? See, but the masculine is just not there. He's probably the one that cut the relationship. Um, the masculine's not happy. He's not fulfilled with whatever he has, right? And he's actually, he's disappointed in this partnership. I had to clarify. The masculine wants to manifest abundance the man is, the masculine is the one that wants to walk away. Okay. Lots of confirmation about that. We have the eight of cups here. We have the chariot here. He wants to walk away, period. And the reason why is because he's disappointed in the current situation or what was. Um, and he just wasn't happy in that. Okay. So what does the uh, feminine not want to happen? Mm. He does. She doesn't want the masculine. She doesn't want things to end, and she doesn't want the masculine to start um, being on the search for something better or different. You know what I mean? She just basically does not want to be cut out. Period. We have what is this? A Nine of Wands Reverse, Knight of Pentacles, the Death Card, Judgment, and King of Swords. She, just, she doesn't want to be cut out. I'm going to save this one card here for that. <clears throat> and Judgment. For some of you, um, you could be married to this person or, you know, legally separated, whatever. Um, so the, and for some of you, the case is that the feminine doesn't want the separation to happen or the divorce or whatever. And the masculine is trying to break free. But for some of you, it is a marriage. Alrighty. So. Not one, oh, what's the overall energy for the month of February, please?
Did I just see a ten of swords? Yes, I did. A painful ending. Holy crap. I was, and the devil. It's just the end of a karmic cycle. Like, um, it's like you've already fulfilled that contract, that soul contract with this person. Um, and it might be painful, but it's just, you know, that's all she wrote. Alrighty, well, that's going to be your reading there. Um, I don't think you guys need an extended on this one, I have to be honest. I don't think you need an extended on this one. Alright, um, I think it gave us the answer right here. So the extended would come with the obstacles, with getting in the way, the true intentions, the actions people are going to take, and the outcome. But, I mean, we kind of got all that already. We know the actions is someone walking away in a masculine. We know that the outcome is a painful ending. Um, we know that what's getting in the way here is that someone's not happy where they are, right? They're disappointed. They're not happy. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I, I really don't think you guys need an extended on this one. I think you guys got all your answers all in one reading here, which is good. You know what I mean? I'm sorry for whoever's going through this. Just know like when thing one door closes, another door opens. And 1010 when I looked at the clock. So definitely new beginnings coming to you. All right. And don't forget about your angel cards talked about you closing out one thing because you're calling in the one that's truly meant for you. Alrighty, until next time, bye!